Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all alright again. Um, I thought I'd share with you a recipe that I've only cooked a couple of times, but I really, really like it. And again, with all my recipes, they're kind of store cupboard ingredients, so you'll have all these things either in the fridge or in the cupboard. This is another African recipe that I really, really like. It's called Domida, uh, and I'll go through all the ingredients that I've got. Um, I've been to Gambia about six or seven times and I absolutely adore the food along with all the people as well who are absolutely gorgeous. They do the most amazing food so I got the recipe off a Gambian girl um, but you could get this off the internet if you really wanted to. But this is how she actually made it. It's not spicy, it's just really really lovely. So the first ingredient here is I've just got three small cherry tomatoes that have just been chopped. I've got not even a quarter of an onion, but as I've said on all my videos, there's only me, so everything's tiny. If there's two of you or four of you, then just double it and just make the recipe your own. Um, in the back corner there, sorry about the light, there's some beef stock. Um, you're supposed to use like a beef bouillon, and I used to have like maggi cubes, what they use in Gambia. I've run out of those, so this is just like a beef stock. Um, I've got a good teaspoon of tomato puree like a large tea teaspoon of tomato puree um, in this dish here I've got two smallish potatoes that I've peeled they're in the water at the moment to stop them from going brown they're cut into like bite-sized pieces this little dish is a large garlic clove that I've tried to cut as finely as I can without mincing it and making a mess um, this dish has got chicken in it. This is probably half a chicken breast. Again, there's only me, so I don't eat a great deal. What I don't eat, I will freeze or I will take to lunch in the morning, but that's about half a chicken breast, and it's just mouse-sized pieces, I guess. I've got a big tablespoon of smooth peanut butter. Now, you can use crunchy if you want. Um, the recipe does say unsweetened. I mean, I've never seen a sweetened peanut butter. Anyway, this is just natural peanut butter, which is smooth. If you've got crunchy, then I think that'll be fine. And on this uh, little plate here, I've got some salt and some Himalayan pink salt. I've got some celery salt, and I've also got about a quarter of a red chilli, I think. I haven't put the seeds in that, and again, I've tried to chop it as finely as I can, but I've not done very well. So I'll get on with exactly what you need to do. So the first thing that I've done is I've heated up uh, like a teaspoon of olive oil. You use any oil that you've got. And I've added the garlic and I'm just sauteing the onions. And they, they just, these just want to go a little bit steepy. They don't want to be burnt or anything like that. So just to make them go a little bit steepy, I've got this on a very low heat and I'm just moving around the pan just to kind of cook and I'll show you, well, I'll come back and I'll show you what you need to do next. So once the onions are kind of fully cooked and a bit translucent, translucent then I've added the chicken. Obviously if you're using beef or lamb, add your meat at this point. And this is really noisy so I can, well I hope you can hear me. The next thing I'm going to do, I know it's not cooked yet, but this is going to cook for about 40 minutes on low. So it doesn't have to be cooked with the meat because it will cook in the juices. The next thing I'm going to add is your tomatoes. Plant those in. Give it a bit of a stir around. This is on a very low heat, by the way. I'm going to come back to you in a couple of minutes when this is just browned a little bit. So the next thing that I've done is added the tomato puree and just mixing that around. Um, the chicken is more or less cooked really and it's just a question of adding all the other ingredients and stirring on a very, very low heat. So that's the tomato puree in. The next thing I'm going to add is the well, everything on this little sauce are the celery salt, the salt, the pepper and the chilli. I'm going to add that now. Give that a little bit of a stir around. And then I'll come back and show you what to do next. So the next thing that I've done is I've added the peanut butter. This will soften eventually. It's quite hard at the moment. I don't know whether it's because this is an, an organic peanut butter. But it's actually quite hard um, 
So that's going to soften as it cooks a little bit. But I'm also going to add the beef bouillon, which again will make it into more of a sauce. Still on a very, very low heat. So this, just stir all this around. And I will come back and show you what happens next. So the last thing that I've added is the cubed potato. Now what I forgot to mention was that you could use sweet potato if you wanted to. I've done it with sweet potato before and I just think it's just a little bit too sweet. I think it takes away a bit of the taste of the peanut butter and the chilli and things. So I've just used ordinary Jersey potatoes but obviously use any potato of your choice. I also added a, a, a little drop of water, maybe like a quarter of a cup of water because it was just a little bit too thick. Depending on how runny you want your sauce, add a little bit more of the water. Um, so this is all you do, to be honest. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a lid on the pan and I'm just going to, on a very, very gently slow heat, simmer it for about 20 minutes, leave it, come back and taste it, see if the potato is cooked. You don't want the potato to fall to pieces and go completely mushy, but it does take between 20 minutes and 40 minutes, depending on whether you're cooking with gas or electric or how big your tomatoes are and things like that. So what I also forgot to mention is that if you do, if you are a vegetarian and you don't want to cook with meat, you could just put your vegetables in it and make it um, a vegetarian domino. I think that would be really nice actually. This is traditionally served with rice because obviously it's an African dish. But over here you can serve it with chips or jacket potato or vegetables or whatever you want to serve it with really. So I'm going to put the lid on and then I'll come back in about 40 minutes and show you what it looks like. So it's been cooking or simmering away for about 35 minutes. Um, the potatoes are fully cooked. I put a sharp knife into the potatoes and they work hard or anything but I don't want the potatoes to fall apart. So I've taken it off the stove and I've put it into a glass proof dish. Now I can't show you what it looks like plated it with rice and stuff because I'm making this the night before I want to eat it. So I'm going to leave this to cool, put it in the fridge and then make my rice tomorrow. Like with most kind of things that you make like chilies and bolognese, they always taste better the next day. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat this the next day. So yeah, if you like peanut butter, this is the meal for you. It's very peanut buttery, very creamy, um, but it's got a bit of a kick with the chilli as well. Now I realise that this is like a, a holiday dish and everybody enjoys their meals when they're abroad with the sunshine and no stress from holidays. It's really hard to get the same kind of meal, but to me it tastes absolutely gorgeous. But then again, I love my creamy dishes and things like that. So. I hope somebody tries it and if they do I hope they like it. If you do like it and you make it let me know, comment, share, subscribe and all that kind of thing. Um, so this is a, a domada in case I didn't already say. So thank you for watching, have a great week, bye!